Well, good Monday morning, everyone. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and it's time for CW39 Houston Happens. Hopefully you all had a wonderful Mother's Day, and it was a roaring good time. Speaking of which, you'll notice some commotion behind me. Well, there was quite the talker that is going on this morning. It looks like this sequel to Tiger King was unfolding on what we should call the Wild West side of town. Check out this video. Oh yeah, it was a real jungle out there off of Highway 6 and Memorial. Neighbors in West Houston were shocked to see this tiger roaming outside of their homes last night. At one point, you see that neighbor right there who actually happens to be an off-duty deputy? He pointed a gun at the big cat. It was eventually led by its collar. It's like, here, pretty boy, back inside to the house. Now, before the police could get there, of course. No word on who owns the tiger or if they're going to be facing any charges. Now, here's the thing, folks. We know Joe Exotic is still in the joint, and last time I checked, Carol Baskin hasn't moved to H-Town. The only new is 50 cent and he doesn't have a tiger that I know of. All I can say is folks, you better keep an eye on the tiger. Yeah, that's right. I just said it. I'm here until 10 this morning. But seriously, you can see why this story is all the cat's meow and has gone viral. I know you want to share it. I'm going to be sharing it with my friends because only in Houston. So send it on over to CW39.com and you can send it to your friends. Now, to the people who own the big cat, all I can say is get your life and get your tiger. Seriously, I'm allergic to cats anyways. But in other news, there is one woman behind me who is as fierce as a tiger, you could say. On this Motivational Monday, we want to introduce you to Miss Keisha J. Despite being di diagnosed with HIV and most recently cancer, she continues to break down barriers and empower the masses. I actually had a chance to chat with her about how she continues to keep her head up despite what life throws her way. So Keisha, you call yourself an empowerment maven, and I feel like that is such a fitting title. All that you have been through and continue to go through. So tell us a little bit about your journey. Oh, it's been a crazy journey, kind of like the Texas Cyclone, the legendary roller coaster. It's been all over the place. Um, for years, um, I have been Made, making the pavement and paving the way of just being a great empowerment maven, just trying to be a light and an inspiration to other people through turning some of my negatives into other people's positives. So they kind of won't go down the road that I went through in the beginning. But in 2006, I was diagnosed with AIDS and I was diagnosed right there in, right here in Houston at near death. I was in a coma for two weeks. I was in the hospital for a month. And it was one of those kind of things where when she came and told me, I was just kind of confused, like, ma'am, huh? What? You know, because I, I didn't have education on that, you know, growing up. So immediately when I was told that, I said that I cannot let it take me down a path of mental how, chaos. So I said, you know what? I want to immediately share this with others because I was in college at the time. You know, my main thing was, you know, pledging a sorority, you know, going to football games and just doing my coursework, not having to now put my health full reign forward through my college years. So I immediately got myself back healthy. And probably six months after diagnosis, I e began um, paving the streets and telling my story, speaking my truth. And I, and I did my first speaking engagement with 97.9 The Box. Um, I believe I can, I think it was Cashmere High School is where I did my first speaking engagement in Houston. So since then, it's just been kind of take off from there. And from it, things have just kind of just blown up in a way that I didn't expect. Um, and, I, and I believe it's because of how I tell my story. I don't tell it in a way for people to feel sorry for me. Woe is me. It's more of one of those things is this could have happened to anybody. However, what I did with it is I took it and I made it something that I could be a vessel to others. So if you do get in something like this, you know how to overcome it and get to the other side. Because I think a lot of times, even nowadays, people think of HIV and AIDS as a death sentence. Right. And you yes. are living with it. And they also think that a certain type of person gets it. And as you said, you were in college going to a sorority. I would yes. You know, that's how I was in college and going through a sorority too. So it can happen to anyone. If you have any advice for people on how to be aware about that, what would you say? 
Um, honestly, in, in my culture, my community, we grow up with being told, don't bring a baby home. You know, yes. not yes. necessarily, hey, watch out for HIV AIDS, chlamydia, this, that. We're told about the baby part. Um, I would really make sure, I would really would like a younger generation to be more self-aware. You know, a lot of times we get so caught up in what Instagram and everything else wants us to be to where we forget about kind of educating ourselves on the importance of self-care. Self-care plays a huge role in you knowing about STDs because why? You're going to educate yourself on the things that you need to so that you can take yourself and, and place yourself in a box of importance instead of putting others before you. And then you overcame that and tell us about the cancer diagnosis. Yes. So a year ago, I was diagnosed with cancer and I, it literally... I thought, you know, I was told that I had hemorrhoids. I was, I'd have a healthy lifestyle. I eat clean. I go hiking. I do all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, so what's going on? I went to probably five or six different doctors um, from Katy to downtown Houston. And they all kind of told me the same thing. However, in their defense, it was the height of COVID. So COVID was more of a priority. And I also had COVID as well and overcame that. And then I just had a, a crazy pain um, in my rectal area that I just, it, it just kept getting worse and worse to where I had to fly back because I actually live in two places. I live in Houston and Los Angeles. And I flew to LA to speak with my doctor there, spoke with my doctor in Houston. They all said the same thing. And then it just wasn't getting better. And then I flew up north to where I was born, where my grandmother is. And that doctor then told me that that pain was cancer. So and I had to go. Um, I just went through treatment. I went through chemo and radiation, which was brutal. <laughs> it seemed as if the treatment was more hectic on my body than the actual cancer. But um, as of the last scan, I have, I'm tumor free. Um, we're, we're trying to get to the road of being cancer free, but um, it's still going to take a bit of work to get to that. But that was a rough one, I will say. But um, thank to my, thankful to my doctors in Houston and Los Angeles who worked cohesively to get me treatment here up north. So I'm, I'm just very happy for that. And we're running out of time, but um, I could spend so much time with you. I, how do you do it? How do you stay positive and stay so strong in the midst of all of this? You know, I gave birth to my baby girl two years ago, Journey. And even before her, my whole thing is there's greater always on the other side and down the road. I don't care how bad it looks or how bad it may seem, there's always greater. And so when she came into my life and I gave birth to her, that was just even more ammunition, you know, to see that little face, just mommy and just, just she gets so excited when she sees me to where that's my driving force. That's what keeps me going. That's what kept me fighting through cancer. I lost 101 pounds. I had to learn how to walk again. But after seeing her face, I have no choice but to keep going. It, it, there's that's the only option god bless you and your strength i mean you're more than motivation monday i have so much respect and admiration for you i know that you've wrote, written a book and we want to continue to support you and journey where can we go to find out more information yes well everyone can go log on to my site at iamkeishaj.com which is launching monday we're so excited and yes my new book mind body and she um which is a book that really breaks down the stigma between women and mental health you know i'm quite sure you're in the broadcasting world and people look up to you so much but you still go home and you have to put a cape on and do something else yeah. and sometimes that can be taxing mentally and and it's your strongest friends sometimes that have the hardest mental battles so this book is just trying to help women get to the other side through how I got to the other side. So I'm just guiding them through how I got through some of the tough times. And it's also a journal in here so they can kind of write down some of the things that may be triggering them at this moment. You know, Keisha, I interview a lot of people, but I appreciate you being real and your transparency and sharing yes. your story. So thank you so much. And thank you. Hero to me. And I look forward to your journey. And I can't wait to hear when you are completely cancer free. We'll be saying a prayer for you. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. You are awesome. Oh, it was a pleasure. Much love. Bye-bye.
Oh, Keisha J, truly an amazing woman and brought up so many good topics, especially since May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So it's okay to talk about things. And if you know someone who's struggling, make sure that you're there for them and that they get the help that they need. Now, once again, you can read more about Keisha J's journey in her new book, Mind, Body, and She. She breaks down the stigma of women and mental health. Also, as she mentioned, her website launches today, so be sure and check that out. She is all around town despite all of these struggles. In the meantime, we will be praying that she becomes cancer free. Thank you again for sharing your story with all of us. And still to come, maybe you get your motivation from Mother Nature. Find out why more and more people are turning to camping during these trying times. That's still to come and much more on CW 39 Houston Happens. Lies crushed. Before you come to Judge Mathis, you had to have your game right. Next on CW 39 Houston. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Listen, hurt on the job? You may be able to get money for your injuries even if your employer doesn't have workers' comp. Call Terry Bryant. 713-973-8888. Hey, I just got a text from my sister. You remember Rick, her neighbor? Sure. He's the 76-year-old guy who still runs marathons, right? Sadly, not anymore. What? You mean... Mm-hmm. Just like that. Wow. So sudden. Um... We're not about to have the we need life insurance conversation again, are we? No, we're having the we're getting coverage so we don't have to worry about it conversation. So you're calling about the $9.95 a month plan from Colonial Pen? I am. We put it off long enough. We are getting that $9.95 plan today. Is it time for you to call about the $9.95 plan? I'm Jonathan from Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. Sometimes we just need a reminder not to take today for granted. It could be the death of someone you know, or a health scare. That's why today could be a great day to call for free information about Colonial Pen's 995 plan. If you're age 50 to 85, you can get guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance starting at just $9.95 a month. There are no health questions, so you can't be turned down for any health reason. This is permanent coverage. Just pay your premiums for lifelong security. The 995 plan is Colonial Pen's number one most popular whole life plan. Options start at just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate can never go up. It's locked in for life. Don't put it off. Take the first easy step. Call today for free information. And you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. So call now. Call 1-800-304-2323 for your free information and free gift. That's 1-800-304-2323. There's no risk or obligation. That number again is 1-800-304-2323. 1-800-304-2323. Call now. Hello, Colonial Pen? This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Drunk drivers hurt and kill innocent people. Terry Bryant sues drunk drivers. Call board-certified lawyer and former judge Terry Bryant. 713-973-8888. Good Monday morning. You're watching CW 39 Houston Happens and I'm meteorologist Star Harvey. As you can see right behind me, we do have a brand new app and if you haven't downloaded it already, you may want to get on that. I know that I have downloaded it right here and I have it on my phone. Easy access to everything that is going on around the Houston area. I thought why not walk you through it? So here we go right here right now. If you take a look at just the top of your screen when you're already into the app, you'll notice a drop down menu. In that drop down menu, you'll be able to access our top stories for the day. You'll be able to get a look at all of the video that we've put out for the day. Not only that, uh, let's talk about my favorite category. And yes, of course, y'all guessed right. It is weather and we'll get to that in just a second. I'm going to walk you through that. Not only that, you'll also be able to know what's going on as far as traffic. You'll see what is going on on those roads. If there's any construction out there and uh, one of the best features on our brand new CW 39 app is our sky tracker cameras. Now this is the opportunity to find out what is going on with a view out 
of our region just all across the area. So if you want to know if the clouds are out, if the sun is out, if the skies are blue, this is a way to do that. You have all of that available just in the palm of your hands and just below our sky tracker cameras. You'll notice. Yep, that's right. Houston happens. So if you just so happen to miss an episode of Maggie and I, this is where you can get in there and not only watch what we did previously, but also you have the opportunity to take a live look. Yep, that's right. We're streaming everything live on our brand new app. So I said I would walk you through weather. Let's go ahead and click on that. That category. Now the cool thing about this is that you see just across the top of this portion, you get to look at Houston, Sugarland, Gavelston, areas to the north of us, areas to the west and east of us. It is an amazing thing. Thing. And if you plan on uh, taking the family camping, you definitely want to download the CW39 app for the latest forecast. And of course, it is that time of the year when storms can pop up on you. And uh, speaking of camping, Maggie, please tell us how more and more people are going since the pandemic. Thinking of escaping and going camping? Well, you're probably not alone. Ever since the pandemic, camping has become even more popular. Joining us to talk more about this is Toby, president and CEO of KOA Campgrounds of America and one of the nation's top experts on travel trends. And Toby, I have to say, I'm having some serious FOMO. It is gorgeous where you are. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, it is so beautiful here today. I'm at our KOA on Lake Oconee near Greensboro, Georgia, and it's a beautiful day to be out on a campground. So why is it that more and more people are deciding to go camping? Well, it's exactly like what you're seeing here, especially last year when the pandemic came on, people were looking for ways to get outside after being indoors. They're looking for natural social distancing, less crowds, and they want to relieve stress. And the perfect antidote for stress is being outdoors, and we can definitely deliver upon that with camping. We estimate 48 million households started or went camping last year, and that includes 10 million that started for the first time. Jeez. Now, I have to say, I'm not a serious camper, but I'm definitely more of a glamper. And I've also noticed that camping has changed a little bit over the years. So what are some of the new trends you've been seeing? There is lots of ways to camp. You're right. Glamping is a big trend. Everyone wants a unique experience, do something a little different. They're gravitating towards canvas tents. You know, we have tree houses, yurts. At KOA, we have something called a deluxe cabin that has kitchens and bathrooms and all those comforts you might expect at a hotel, but then you still have the great outdoors and the ability to have campfires. People are also dr being drawn to, to RVs right now. They want, you know, that again for safety, self-contained units, their own bathrooms, their own kitchens. And so RV sales have been going through the roof over the past couple of years. And other trends we're seeing has to do more so with who is camping. We've seen a shift towards younger generations. 50% of all campers are Gen Z or millennials. And we're also seeing increasing diversity, which we're really excited about. So year over year, more people of color are coming into camping. And if you look at that new camper base last year, 60% were from non-white groups. That is amazing. I love that. And I love that everyone feels comfortable going to camp, especially during these times. We could all use a little more fresh air. And where can we go to find more information about this? We invite everyone to our website, KOA.com. We've got 525 locations across the country, 26 right there in Texas. You can find them all on our website and learn more about all the ways and places and things you need to know to get out and go camping. And lastly, Toby, are you going to be making s'mores tonight? Absolutely. That's, <laughs> you can't go be here someplace like this without making s'mores. So Sounds <laughs> that's a priority. Good. Yes, for sure. Well, thank you so much for joining us and have fun out there. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you. Seriously, was that not the most gorgeous backdrop where Toby was? Now, here's the thing. We definitely want to check out the website she was talking about, KOA.com. It's really cool, especially for non-campers. I have a confession. I've never been camping before, folks. Yeah, and I'm from Colorado. But I will go camping thanks to this website. So if you check it out, we have it over here on our touch screen. I just put in Texas, and it shows all of these different campsites around here and also what they have. Like um, Brooklyn, this one might be for me. First of all, 
really cool. They have cabins and cottages and lodges. That's more of my style. But let's say you want to, you know, pop a tent or maybe you want to have your RV. They tell you all about that and then you can reserve and check their rates for the campsite. Also, <laughs> This is my favorite part. Campground amenities, you can click pool, you can click Wi-Fi, all of these things, and it will update your search. So you definitely want to check out KOA.com, especially with the summer months coming up. I know a lot of you are going to be going camping. Speaking of camping, how many of you guys are sending your kiddos to summer camp? Well, we are actually going to be talking to a doctor about what you need to know to make sure you have safe and happy campers. Stay tuned for more CW39 Houston Happens. Over these past months, we've all experienced changes and a great deal of reflection. But here's a change you can truly be excited about. Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, permanently removes the fat from your stomach, hips and thighs, and back. I walked past mirrors. I didn't want to see any of that. I can't even tell you how excited I am about Sonobello and what they've done for me. I'm just living my best life now because I'm being the best that I can be. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently. Schedule your free no obligation consultation. Plus, get $250 off instantly. You deserve to do something for you. Call 1-888-512-5131 or go to sonobello.com now. Tahinet. Tahin is a delicious combination of mild chili peppers, lime, and sea salt. anything bueno more bueno tahin it why would you buy life insurance from anyone else when senior life gives you all your money back it's simple when other companies say they save you a percent of your money senior life says we give it all back that's right with return of premium life insurance from senior life we don't save you a percent of your money we give it all back 100 percent it works like this if you pass away while you're insured, your loved ones get a check for the coverage amount you chose. But if you're still living at the end of the term, you get back all the money you paid guaranteed. Spend it any way you wish. While others may talk about saving you money, Senior Life is the only one giving it all back. Return of premium term life insurance gives you protection if you need it and 100% cash back if you don't. Get all your money back with return of premium life insurance from Senior Life. Call the number on your screen now for free information. You have no obligation. Call now. Can I help you? I need new flooring. Can you come out to my house for a free estimate? Uh, no, we don't do that. Can I see some samples in my home? Oh, and I need it installed before this weekend. Uh, we don't do that. Big box stores can't compete with Express. Welcome back everyone to CW39 Houston Happens. With over 12,000 summer camps across the nation, there are going to be more happy campers this summer as more camps have chosen to open. But what are some safety precautions against COVID-19 so that parents and children can have a safe and fun summer? I actually spoke with Dr. Mary Mason. She's the mother and founder of Little Medical School for some advice. So doctor, not only are you a doctor, you're a mother. So I thought you would be the perfect guest for this. I know that a lot of parents are getting ready to maybe send their kids off to summer camp, but they're a little bit nervous because of COVID. So is it safe to send your kids to camp? You're right. I'm looking for things for my 10 year old daughter right now. And you know, things are constantly changing every day. However, there are some things that we can really look at. One, you want a camp that has activities outside. While you can be inside, if you are, you want to make sure it's a very well ventilated area. However, outside is probably preferable if you can find it. 
Other things you want to look at is cleaning procedures. And this is where you need to be a good consumer. Ask the camp coordinator, how are you cleaning? How are you making sure that they're not sharing the same um, tools and the same supplies over and over again? And you really want to see the kids in pods where they're not interacting with other pods and sharing all the same equipment. So once your kids get signed up and they're there, what should you tell them to be on the lookout for as kids? I think this is a great opportunity to make your kids be accountable because mm -hmm. they've been in school. Some of them have been Zoom, but some have been in person and they had a set of rules. But going into a summer camp, especially a sleepaway camp, there's gonna be a different set of rules. So you need to make sure that they understand what the rules of that camp are and make sure that they are following them and make sure they know they're accountable for it. It's really a great opportunity you know, to work with the kids and show them how they're helping to control this pandemic. And also you help kids and parents with Little Medical School. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we run many medical schools for kids that really show them all the different careers in healthcare, but also how to be a good patient. So we have all sorts of different activities where they learn what a surgeon does, a nurse does, a pharmacist does, and it really makes them dream and inspire to all the, about all the different careers in healthcare. And you also have some of those survival sets. What is that? Yeah, so we also have a toy line based on some of our most popular activities from our after school programs and summer camps. This is our wilderness kit. And what's really fun about this is it has all sorts of different activities for them to do, be healthy in the wild. And it's a great thing to send to camp with them. And it has I, all sorts of fun things. I love all of this, doctor. Lastly, where can we go to find out more information? Littlemedicalschool.com. And we also have um, a, um, a office in Houston. So please look us up. All right, sounds good. I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of happy campers and happy parents. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you to the doctor. That was great advice, especially with more and more camps reopening this summer. So I have a question for all of you parents out there. Where are you sending your kiddos to summer camp? Make sure you hit me up on social media. I always love having a conversation for all of our wonderful viewers. Also, speaking of summer, this is giving us some serious summer vibes. Oh yeah, thank you so much Flowers by CD for this beautiful tropical bouquet. Hopefully, it definitely is something that you would want in your house. She always gives us the most gorgeous flowers for on set. So stop and smell the flowers, right? Nothing like some Monday motivation. And hopefully, we started your week with some extra sunshine. We have lots of goodies heading your week on CW39. Houston happens. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Have a great day.